Hello everyone, I'm Alicia. Welcome to my Beautiful Nights channel. For this video, I'm going to open up another monthly subscription from Check Beads Exclusive, also known as Craftica, and I'm going to put a link for this subscription box down there below in the description bar. I'm also going to put individual links to the materials that I get in this box in case you just want a few things, but not the entire box. Alright, so let's open this and see what the theme is. So here's a flyer that they put in every box, and it talks about their Craftica store in Prague. And they do sell craft stuff too, not just jewelry making, they sell soap making kits and stuff. And then here is both their Czech Beads exclusive box and their Bohem style box, and their social media. And by the way, Last month, they started doing tutorials for this box. They've done tutorials for the Bohem Style box, but now they're doing tutorials for the Check Beads Exclusive box on their Instagram page. I've also seen them on YouTube, and I think it said on their website. So make sure you go and check in case you want to make projects with this box here. Okay? So the theme is called Halloween Mystery. And I like that they put the pumpkin in the center right there. Little detail. Cute. Wow. There's a lot. There is a lot. Um, it looks like it's not broken down into lots. It looks like there's going to be 27 different things. Because you know how they usually have, like, for example, leaf beads. Two lots. So that means they'll have two different bags. But I don't see it like that this time. Looks like it's going to be 27 different things. So down here, it says don't miss beading design ideas for this box on our social media and website. So that's what I was talking about. So make sure you go and check that out. Okay. Let's see what we have. These are cool. Um, I'm going to try to go faster. It's really hard for me, though, with this box because this box has such amazing things. But um, I'm filming four box opening videos today, and these two boxes, the Bohem Style and Craftica, came in late for me. Today is the 5th? Yeah, it's the 5th. And I usually get these in at the end of the month, but I've been getting um, packages late. So this looks really cool. I've gotten this bead before. But I've never seen it in this color. It looks really aged and old. Looks like something you would find buried in the sand from thousands years ago. Okay. Oh, I love these. These are crystal Picasso teardrops. I used these before. From a previous Check Beads exclusive box, I made a bracelet with them. I'll put a picture up now. And I've also used these teardrops before, but in a different color, in a box that I did. I can't remember what the box was. It was some subscription box. Anyways, I used them before in a flower themed bracelet. It was all Picasso beads, different colors. I'll put a picture up. Okay, and then we have leaf beads. These are pretty transparent green, like an olive or peridot. I can't tell. I get it out with a silver wash. I like those a lot. Okay, and are these bicones? Looks like four millimeter bicones. They are jet black with a silver or hematite color on them. 
No, they're not black. I think they're hematite. But then it looks like it has like a silver specks on it. I feel like these bags aren't closing right. It's not... The two pieces aren't resting together. This is olivine green, which is one of my favorite colors in check beads with a copper wash owl beads. Oh my gosh. Those are cute. I love those. And then we have check glass bellflowers. This is jet, which means black. This is the bellflower that has more detail on it. You can see the petals more and stuff. See that? Cool. Okay, and then... I think it's a trilobite. I think that's what it's called. These are so cool. And these beads are very expensive. I want to go buy them myself. And they are really up there in price. Now, there's another bead. I think you guys have, I, I think I've shown it before, but I don't know if you have seen it. That's a round table cut bead and it has a trilobite indent in it, indention where it looks like a fossil was like gouged out of it. I think I made a necklace with it. If I'm right, I'll put a picture up. So there is this trilobite bead and there's that coin table cut bead that has a trilobite in it. And um, this bead sits perfectly in that coin one. By the way, like it's actually taken out of there. I love these. We have some oval shaped crystal Picasso. And whenever you hear crystal Picasso, it means that the bead is clear with a Picasso finish over it. Look at how gorgeous. These are very gorgeous. I like those lots. Okay. And then we have table cut beads. I have some like these in my stash. They make me think of tigers. Yeah. Like animal print. Those are cool. Very cool. And then, oh my gosh, I love these. These are three millimeter checked rocks and a bright orange. I don't have these in my stash. They are so pretty. And by the way, it's Halloween, right? Coming up this month and I have done several Halloween projects. I've done beaded pumpkins. I'll put a picture up for that. I've done candy corn. Done beaded spiders. If there's anything else that I can think of that I've done that's like a Halloween project, I'll put pictures up. But all of those projects that I have shown, I have tutorials for, so all you have to do is take the title out of the picture, put it into the YouTube search bar, and those videos will pop up for you, and you can go make some cute candy corn earrings or pumpkin earrings. Here we have more bicones. 
And they look like the same color as the other one, so that's four millimeters. This looks like six. So these check bicones are more of a fire polished bicone, so they're not as sharply faceted as Preciosa or Swarovski. See, they're not as sparkly, but they are very good quality. They don't have sharp holes. See? Really nice holes. The bead is consistent. It's not uneven. So they're very good quality. Think of it as a check fire polish bead. And then we have, I love this color. I think I have this in my stash. I want to say it's something apricot. The bead is actually crystal clear. And it has a orangey apricot color on it, but only half the bead. And then the other side has a luster. So it's really gorgeous. It's orange but it's also golden so it's very pretty I like those and there's a great amount there we're doing projects and what else this is matte three millimeter check fire polish beads I'm not going to worry about opening those because like I said I have four videos I'm filming today so I'm trying to make this faster and we have here three millimeter check fire polish beads and this is Labrador full Labrador because it's a shiny silver and full because it's completely coated on the bead if it was Labrador half only half the bead would be coated and then you would see clear and silver but that's fully coated Okay, and then we have, um, I'm not sure, I have to open this one. It looks like crystal half, uh, copper half. So it's a clear bead and half of the bead is copper coated. They're very pretty. I think that when it's half coated, it seems more sparkly to me than the full. I don't know. Starting a new row. I love these. So this is crystal. Looks like travertine on it because it's mostly brown, but then it has a silver wash. This is a table cut flower bead. Also called coin shape. Um this is the first time I've seen them in a transparent color. I do have some in my stash and I've made projects with this bead that is opaque. I have opaque like a uh, turquoise blue one with travertine on it. I made a necklace with it. I'll put a picture up now. So those are awesome. Okay, and I love this flower. Is this one hole or two? Let's see. I want to say it's one. It's one hole. Right there. That's cute. Wow, it looks really weird on the camera. On my camera, it looks like it's holographic or something. I love that flower shape. It's very cute. Okay, so I have those. And then more teardrops in olivine green Picasso. I think this is a six by nine millimeter teardrop, but I'm not sure. Or it's a six by four. 
because they measure it this way and then they measure the they did measure the widest point I don't know sometimes they have weird measurements let's see those are beautiful I know I've used these before especially in that one flower bracelet that I did with a chain but I don't know if I'm hoarding any of them in my stash And then we have Crystal Picasso, check bicones, and again, this is like a fire polished bicone. It's not as sparkly, but it's very good quality, no sharp holes. They are gorgeous. Okay, what's next? Oh, wow. Um, have I got this one before? I think it's different. The color is different. Okay, so in the past, in a Bohem style box, I got a black bead like this before. It had Picasso on the side, but this is the newer Picasso that they're doing where they're putting a blue or green color over the Picasso. Do you see that? kind of looks bluish. It's another finish that they're putting over the Picasso. Changes it. But anyways, I'll have a picture up of the necklace that I'm talking about. So that's a cool bead. Nice focal there. And then we have tassels and I'm not going to worry about opening this because I know I'm going to have a hard time shoving them back into the bag but they look pretty large compared to other tassels that we usually get so I think it's over an inch long those are neat you know it would be cute to get a sharpie marker and make eyes and a mouth like it's a ghost or something ghost tassels and then we have I think it's one millimeter wax cotton cord. It's the same cord that the Bohem cell box was wrapped in. It's good quality stuff. And then still going. Oh my gosh. This is four millimeter cathedral beads. The color is brown, like a topaz, but it has Picasso on the ends. These are my favorite cathedral beads, the ones that have Picasso. There's also cathedral beads that have metal plating on them. So like bronze or gold, silver. But I like the Picasso ones more. Aren't those pretty? Let's wait for my camera to focus. And it's still going. Oh my gosh. What is this color? I don't know if this is green or blue. Um, I even see purple. Especially in that bead. It might be a very pale blue. Like a turquoise or a um, pale green color. But they're very cool. They look so ancient. And the sides, each side looks different. So, those are neat. We still have more bags left. We have bell flowers. I think this is turquoise, but really I have to open it to make sure. It might be green. Yes, it's turquoise with either a wash on it or travertine. I think it's a wash though. I like those. Okay. 
still going. Oh my gosh, I love these. This is actually a flower bead, but it looks like a tire to me. Looks like it has tread and everything on it. I'll show you. They're really cool. That's Picasso on it. It's a flower, but it looks like a tire. I've seen uh, people use beads like this in polymer clay, and these would be perfect for tires. You know? Okay. I think we have a charm or pendant. We have two things in here. Come on, baggy, open up. We have a haunted house and a little pumpkin. So the haunted house has a pretty large cat on top of the roof. Wait a second. Is that a cat? No, it's a ghost. Oh my gosh. It looked like a cat at first. I thought that was a tail. We have a ghost. There's the moon. There's a little pumpkin down here. Yeah. I can't believe I thought there was a cat. Anyways, the pumpkin charm's also very cute. I like these charms. So, I'll put them back in the baggie. Here is everything we are getting in this month's Check Beads exclusive monthly subscription box. And there's a lot of goodies here. I really do love Check Picasso. They are my favorite beads. And this box always has a nice selection to choose from. By the way, do not forget about the tutorials that they have on their Instagram page and on their website. The last box, I think they did like three tutorials, but I haven't gone back on Instagram to check to see if they did any more. So... Anyways, this is it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this unboxing. Again, I will have a link for the box down below in the description bar. And I'm also going to have individual links here for the materials in case you just want a couple things, but not everything in the box. Alright? I'm now going on to film my third video for the day. So please, like this video, leave me a comment, subscribe if you want to see more of my videos, and make sure you click the bell button so that you get notified whenever I upload new videos, and follow me on my social media sites. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter. Thanks for watching.